Okay, Rob, thanks. Well, if you rebuild it, they will come. That's what one Opelousa's family is hoping to do with a dance hall that's in danger of being lost to the wear and tear of time. The Southern Club was built in 1949, first used as a casino and later as a dance hall before closing its doors in 1996. Our Alex Abbott headed to Opelousa's today to take a trip back in time to learn why some say the Southern Club is definitely worth saving. On the side of the road, on the outskirts of Opelousas, lies a dance hall in disrepair. Ballpark figure about a year to, year to two years to get this, this place back up and going. The Southern Club was a popular entertainment venue in the 1950s that saw everything ranging from swamp pop to legends of rock and roll. The biggest name was Fats Domino. He played here probably about five times. And you had uh, Jimmy Reed and... Uh, Chuck Berry, the Platters, the Coasters. I, I, I can't even think about all the names that played here. The club was shut down back in 1996 and has since seen a rash of robberies and vandalism that is ruining the bar. That's why the family of original owner Chuck Verdreen wants to save the Southern Club. And they're getting a little help from the Center for Louisiana Studies. Every swamp pop band in this area, that, that the Southern Club was home base for those bands. And so it's, it's, a, it's a very special place, not only locally and regionally, but nationally. And it's, it's known nationally and internationally. The UL organization is working with the family to place the 63-year-old building on the National Registry of Historic Places, which means the time-worn building might get a facelift thanks to federal grants and restoration funds. I'd like to see it back in operation for people from the Swamp Pop era. People, old people like me have a place to go. In Opelousas, I'm Alex Labot for KTC TV3. Well, if you'd like to help save the Southern Club, you'll have the chance to give your input in an upcoming meeting. The Center for Louisiana Studies and the Save the Southern Bar will be holding a public meeting September 19th at Toby's Lounge in Opelousas. The meeting starts at 6.30 and will cover the current status of the bar. Organizers are hoping anyone with pictures or old memorabilia from the Southern Club can help donate to the cause.